In an extraordinary twist of fate that defied all statistical expectations, a young Austin Hatch survived not one, but two devastating plane crashes. Born into a loving family in Indiana, Austin's early years were filled with the warmth and affection that most children can only dream of. Until the age of eight, Austin, along with his older sister Lindsay and younger brother Ian, was showered with parental love and attention. Their near-ideal existence, however, came to a shattering end in 2003. The family had been spending time with relatives in northern Michigan and were on their way back to Indiana in a small aircraft. The trip had been going smoothly, and the landscape below seemed to promise a welcome return to familiar surroundings. But as they prepared for landing, a sudden disaster struck. The plane plummeted and crashed, bursting into flames upon impact. The ensuing scene was a horrifying tableau of destruction and panic. In a desperate act of courage, Austin's father, Stephen, grabbed his eight-year-old son and hurled him out of the window to safety. Then, consumed by paternal love, he went back into the blazing wreckage, searching for his remaining family members. Tragically, there was no salvation to be found for Austin's mother, Lindsay, and Ian. The flames were unrelenting and Stephen had no choice but to leave or meet the same terrible fate. He emerged from the wreckage, his heart heavy with loss but grateful to have saved his youngest son. What followed was a long and agonizing period of psychological healing. Austin was only a child of eight, his mind struggling to comprehend the loss of his loved ones. For his father, the initial months were even more grueling. Yet the immense love and responsibility for his surviving child gave Stephen the strength to carry on. Their relationship, cemented by shared grief and gratitude for their second chance at life, blossomed. Together, they would spend hours poring over scrapbooks and photo albums, keeping the memories of their lost family members alive. The smiling faces captured in photographs served as a reminder of happier times, ensuring that they would never fade from their minds. Gradually, life began to regain some semblance of normality. Stephen supported Austin's dream of playing professional basketball, a sport that he himself had played for several years. As the years rolled on following the dreadful plane crash that had cost Stephen Hatch his wife and two of his children, he began to cautiously open his heart again. The weight of the tragedy still bore down upon him and his surviving son, Austin. But time, while not erasing the pain, allowed for new connections to be forged. Among those who entered Stephen's life during this delicate period was Kimberly, a mother of three children, whose gentle presence became a catalyst for healing. Her compassionate nature helped Stephen rediscover the love that had been so brutally taken from him. The emptiness in his heart, and in Austin's as well, began to fill, albeit slowly. Austin too quickly accepted the new family, allowing warmth and affection to mitigate the lingering sorrow. Together, they supported Austin in his academic and athletic pursuits. His determination and hard work in education and basketball culminated in 2011, when he was offered a scholarship to study at the University of Michigan. Additionally, he earned a place on the university's esteemed basketball team. A new chapter seemed to be opening, filled with promise and joy. However, the happiness was destined to be short-lived. In an inconceivable twist of fate that defied all odds and probabilities, tragedy struck again. Stephen and Austin were once more on a plane bound for northern Michigan. The journey was a grim echo of the past, and the plane crashed, mirroring the horror they had experienced years before. This time, Kimberly was with them, and neither she nor Stephen survived the terrible fall. Once again, Austin, through some inexplicable alignment of cosmic forces, was granted another chance at life. Rescue workers arrived at the scene to find a harrowing spectacle. They pulled Austin from the wreckage just in time, but unlike the previous accident, he was gravely injured. The impact had broken his collarbone, several ribs, his femur, and caused a severe brain injury. In the sterile and somber environment of the hospital, Austin was placed in an artificial coma to aid in his recovery. The days turned into weeks as doctors closely monitored his condition, 
but Austin remained unconscious even when brought out of the coma. The family's friends, relatives, and well-wishers watched and waited, their hearts laden with hope and fear. Finally, after an agonizing six-week period, Austin opened his eyes. The road to recovery would be long and fraught with challenges, but his resilience had once more been proven. The aftermath of the second plane crash left Austin Hatch in a state that few could comprehend. The physical and emotional scars were deep and profound. His body had been shattered, and he found himself trapped in a bewildering world where even the most basic functions like walking, eating, and speaking were beyond his grasp. Austin later described his mental state with a haunting metaphor. I had a feeling as if all the lights were on in the house, but it was completely empty. This vivid imagery conveys the sense of emptiness and confusion that pervaded his existence. A soul adrift in a body that no longer obeyed his will. This second brush with tragedy had broken him. He was ready to surrender to despair in the darkest period of his life, a time when giving up seemed like the only option. But there were those who refused to let him go. The medical team of doctors, therapists, and psychologists worked diligently and compassionately, offering daily support. His uncle, now his closest relative, stood by him, infusing his life with love and care. It was a grueling path to recovery. Every small step was a Herculean task, from learning to articulate simple words to taking the first painful steps. The absence of his father and stepmother was a wound that never truly healed, but his uncle, stepping into a parental role, offered support and encouragement. After a year and a half of relentless exercises, physical therapy, and psychotherapy, Austin managed to claw his way back. He was ready to return to school, earn his high school diploma, and rekindle his dreams. The university scholarship was still there, waiting for him, a beacon of hope. He refused to be consumed by despair. With a fierce determination, he not only enrolled at the University of Michigan, but also pursued his childhood dream. Wearing the basketball jersey of the university's team, the Wolverines, Austin became a symbol of resilience and triumph. Everyone knew his story, and his coach showed great patience, recognizing that Austin's physical strength might have waned, but his spirit was unbreakable. They wanted to give him a chance, a chance he seized with both hands. The 2014 season was marked by Austin's return to the court. In one memorable game, he took to the court towards the end of the game, standing at the free throw line with the weight of his journey on his shoulders. The ball left his hands, arced through the air, and found its mark. Austin scored, achieving his first point for the Wolverines in his career. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your time and hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked what you saw, be sure to check out the other great content on our channel. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to bring you more. Thank you again, and see you in the next video.